proposal for Ogun State Motorcycle Slash Tricycle Riders Permit. This proposal, designed by Lambert Consulting Limited in partnership with Ogun State Vehicle Inspection Office, as a private slash public partnership solely financed by the private sector, attempts to capture the identity and create a database of all motorcyclists slash tricyclists riders in Ogun State and in doing be a source of revenue generation for Ogun State Government. Riders would be mandated to register online and, after registration, proceed to vehicle inspection offices, or other biometric capture centers, within the state for biometrics capturing. The registration fee is 5,000 Naira, payable online, and all riders would be notified to renew their rider's license every two years for 2,000 Naira, also payable online. The initial registration and biometric capturing would be executed within a specified time frame, after which continuous registration will take place online. Those that have successfully registered are to present their registration code at the biometric capture centers. The unique code would be used to access the rider's personal information from the database for verification by the officer. At the end of the initial registration period, and afterwards, law enforcement agencies would be directed to identify and apprehend defaulters. Procedures to apply for motorcycle slash tricycle riders permit. 1. Motorcycle and tricycle riders are expected to apply for the permit online. 2. Upon completion of their application, riders get a unique identification number, and are invited to pay online. 3. On successful payment, a receipt will be issued, containing their identification number and a QR code, just like on a NIN slip. 4. The identification information will be printed twice allowing for one to be cut off and laminated, while the other is kept in a safe place. 5. After the initial registration, riders are expected to proceed to vehicle inspection office for biometrics capturing. Successful capture will change their status from pending to active. 6. Subsequent renewals will be done online since an applicant's biometric data cannot be changed. 7. If the receipt is lost all the owner has to do is log into the portal and reprint the receipt containing he identification information, 